Hello everyone, I'm making a simple guide on how to get the VOII client for Black Ops 3 without having to subscribe to Momo's Patreon. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there has been a lot of issues with Black Ops 3 recently where people have been able to execute code remotely through Black Ops 3 and uh, a few other things. So it's basically like plutonium, what plutonium is for Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1 or uh, World of War. This is basically that but for Black Ops 3. Now, because the because it's not officially released yet, you do have to subscribe, or you're supposed to have to subscribe to Momo's Patreon in order to get executable files to actually use it. But I found it's actually really simple and completely legal, and it's not anything to do with piracy to get this for free. So uh, I'm just gonna get into it now. Uh, well, you're gonna, you're gonna need three things for this. You're gonna want to search up Git for Windows, I'm assuming you're on Windows. If you're not on Windows, then you probably already know how to get Git. But um, you want to get Git, 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 yeah, Git for Windows. Git for Windows.org is where you download it from. Put download, run it, and go through the setup process. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I've already done it. So um, now you're going to want VS Studio. So uh, this is Microsoft's product, uh, Visual Studio. And um, well, I guess VS Studio would be Visual Studio Studio. I don't know, whatever. Basically, um, you're gonna like, get to this uh, website from Microsoft.com and not YouTube. Uh, sorry about that. And you're going to want to get the one all the way towards the left, unless you're on Mac. Then you're gonna want to get the one for Mac, but um, I don't think you're on Mac. So uh, you're gonna want to download Community. And then you're going to gonna run through the setup again. I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna run through the setup. It's pretty straightforward. Just set it up and install it. And then once you're done with that, I would recommend rebooting your computer to make sure all of the changes have applied successfully. And then you're going to want to look at B O I I I GitHub or Boy GitHub, and uh, click code and copy this thing right here. Click this button; it'll automatically copy it to your GitHub. Now, open up a directory. Um, it doesn't really matter where you put this; just make sure you know where you put it. And then, what you're also what you're going to want to do now is hold control and shift at the same time and then while holding down control and shift right click with your mouse it'll bring up open powershell window here and you're going to want to click on open powershell window here now to see i have a powershell window and it's opened up in my e directory or e drive and other stuff directory that is where i'm putting this and you're going to want to type in git clone and then you're going to want to right click windows powershell uh, and it will copy this. Now, I'm pretty sure, okay, no, never mind. So you can also use Control and B at the same time to copy it if you want. Uh, most PowerShell or terminals will support right clicking, and so that's why I said right click. Anyway, click Enter, and you will now have a new folder here. You go into this folder, and then you go ahead and exit this. Then we're going to do the control shift and right click thing again to open PowerShell window here. And you're going to enter on dot backwards slash um, generate, spell that one, generate dot back. Give it a second to run. It is currently downloading uh, some necessities that it won't need for the build. Uh, this will take a second, so I'm going to pause. Uh, Alright, it finished. So now there will be a folder called build here. If you go into here, there's going to be a file called boy.son. Now, most of the times, uh, you'll just be able to double click this because when you install Visual Studio, it will link the .son file type to Visual Studio. But in case it didn't, you can uh, click on it with the left click once and then right click it. And go to open with, and you should be able to open with Visual Studio. If not, you can click choose another app, and you should be able to find it here. 
So since it's showing up, I'll just double click it normally. And as you see, it'll launch up Microsoft Visual Studio. Uh, this will take a second to launch usually. Uh, and now we're in here. It'll usually or most likely be a blank window and there'll be a few things on the right. Um, once it stops loading, we're going to go up here to where it says build, click on it and click build solution. Now stuff will start here. Now it has finished for me. It took 38 seconds and as you see, 12 succeeded. Zero failed, zero up to date, zero skip. That's good. You can see it say a certain number succeeded. Um, now it could change depending on what version you're on, uh, what version the GitHub's on. There could be more or less things that it needs to compile. And by the way, that is what building does. It turns the source code of the uh, BOI client into actual code that your computer can run. Otherwise, your computer can't run source code. Um, now, if we go in here, I believe it should be in bin. I see we're in the build file or build folder. Boy. And uh, there's a bin file here. So if we go into the bin and then the x64, which is the architecture, and debug, we now have BOIII um, that you'd see. So that's all you need. So you're going to, to copy this file, just the exe, that's all you should need. Go to Steam, uh, where's Steam? Here it is. Library. Go to Black Ops 3. Right click it. Go to Manage, or sorry, not Manage, Properties. Click on Properties, go to Local Files, click Browse. And you see I already have this here because I've done it before, so I'll just delete it. And paste this here. And actually it's a bigger file now, so it might have gotten an update since then. And just to show you it works, I'm going to launch it up, click Play. Uh, this is on the hard drive, so it will take a second. I'm going to pause. Uh, all right, it's launching up now. Up in the top left, it says B O I I I, uh, my name, uh, Savage CXV, that's my Steam name. However, sometimes it won't grab your Steam name automatically, so I'll tell you how to set your name uh, once you're in. And also, as you see, it says version 0.0.1 B96 GB10 AC09. That could change depending on the version again. Now, when I click on here, instead of saying uh, whatever it normally says, it says emulating online service, and that means that it is, in, it is installed properly. Also, this up at the top left means it's installed properly as well. Now, sometimes your name will be right. It'll be like, I don't know, it won't be like that. So, to set your name, it's really simple. Underneath the escape key, there's a button called that back tick, the tilde key, it depends on your keyboard, but just click that button underneath the escape key. It also should be towards the left of the one key and above the tab key. And that will bring up the terminal over uh, whatever you want to call the console. And now if we type in name, uh, name, tab, so if you see when I press tab, it'll autocomplete, and then type in the name, I want, so I want this name. And enter. Now, my name's already there, but uh, it usually it won't set automatically, so you're going to want to have to restart the game after you apply that. Now, if we go to B, or press the B button, this will bring up the server browser, and as you see, retrieving servers, we have servers. We have both multiplayer and zombie servers. These are all for the boy client. These are the default servers, as you can tell, obviously. So, it's installed, and we didn't have to pay a single cent, nor did we have to do any piracy. Pretty simple once you know how to do it. And I'm going to stop it here because, you know, bye.